In part B, you will record the reduction rate of the permanganate ion in the solution by reacting it with oxalic acid. The equation shows how permanganate and oxalic acid react to form manganese ion, water, and carbon dioxide gas. Oxalic acid is oxidized to carbon dioxide in this reaction, and the permanganate ion is reduced to the manganese ion. Permanganate ion is purple in color, therefore any reduction of this ion producing manganese ion will result in the formation of a clear colorless solution. When the color disappears, then the reaction has completed. At this point, you must stop the stopwatch and record the time it took for the solutions to become clear. You will observe the reduction of permanganate ion by placing the solutions at different temperatures and seeing how this affects the reduction rate of the ion. First, collect six clean, large test tubes and place them on a rack found in the cabinet labeled test tube racks. Fill three test tubes with permanganate solution and fill the other three test tubes with oxalate solution. Create a warm water bath by filling the beaker with water and turning the heat knob to warm the solution. Use a thermometer to find when the water reaches the desired temperature as described in your lab instructions. Then place one permanganate solution and one oxalic acid solution in the warm water bath for five minutes. Create an ice water bath by filling the beaker with ice and a little bit of water. Place one permanganate solution and one oxalic acid solution in the ice water bath for five minutes. Leave the third set of test tubes at room temperature for five minutes. After five minutes, combine your two solutions and immediately begin recording the time. When the solution has become clear, like it is right now, stop the stopwatch and record the time. Repeat these steps for your solutions that are warmed and cooled. Compare the recorded times, and this will tell you how changing temperature affected the rate of each reaction.